Ladies and gentlemen, I know I said it'd be a week or two before my uh, after my Byway Optimus video, but uh, unfortunately I'm not made of money, so I got to spread out these videos, otherwise I'll run out of stuff in like like two weeks or something like that. Anyway, today I'll be going over the Byway TW1103 Studio Series Jetfire available on the Show Z store. Starting with the box, and before I ripped off all the bubble wrap and all the extra junk that Odds Post slaps on, I generally thought I got some I got sent the wrong thing because just look at it. It looks like some sort of IKEA flat pack thingamajig, but uh, the reason that it is the way it is is because it actually comes apart in pieces since he is a combiner. But also, as you can see on the box, he has a render of the figure itself on the front and the back with the name and just a few extra pictures at the bottom for the combination mode. Over to the figure now, since he is a fourth party, it is just the Studio Series mold, but oddly, no improvements or changes that I can see, besides the uh, paint, which overall I think they've done a really good job on, much better than the original. By way, it's changed a few things of the wiring for the wiring details to be a bit more of a bronzy copper color instead of the blue and red paint job like previously. A few more sections have been painted in a dark silver and finished off with removing the odd red markings that were on his head, which I'm pretty sure weren't even in the movie, but still, once again, a very nice paint job. Over to his bits and bobs, and since it is made by way, by Byway, they've added the upgrade kit to their products, and in this case, it seems to be parts from the DNA design kit, excluding the articulated hands, which is a bit disappointing. But I'll quickly go over the parts, since they are only used for combination, com combination, combination mode, and even then, the parts just tab onto Optimus. There's no real intrigue to them. First up, we've got this little ab section for Optimus, a little gun bit that just tabs into his forearm, Two of these things, two bits that go over his toes, two shin pads, some thruster bits, pretty much a massive belt buckle, this little bit to hold onto his back, this shooty part from the original version, two wing bits, two smaller wing bits, and lastly, his big gun. Now, for his accessories that Jetfire actually uses, he has his cane, which is the uh, landing stick, and it's done in a nice dark silver. And finally, we have his axe, which comes with some nice silver tips on it. Over to articulation now, and he's got some pretty solid ratchets, specifically for a senile old robot. But to begin, he can barely look left, he can barely look right, and completely forget about looking down, but he can look up quite far to ask Robo Jesus why he was made this way. Quite a large movement in his hands and arms. Full movement in his legs. Two ratchets in his little knee bits. And finishing off a nice ankle tilt. Bring it around for transformation and it's uh, you know, it's a uh, good. I, um, I didn't write anything in the script here. Um, are we going to move on or what?
Now, vehicle mode is pretty good. It is, you know, a fourth party, so it has the exact same critiques as the official product when it comes to jet mode. Excellent on the top, horrible on the bottom, but still a solid figure. I'd recommend getting this one if you missed the original and you're probably wondering where the combination mode is. Well, I'm being a bit stingy and I'm going to leave it for next video since I don't have anything else at the moment. But that's all I've got for today. Catch you around next week. See ya.